Hello, this is Angie Monko, and I want to welcome you to your April Worthy Self-Advocate newsletter. The topic for today is, do you have enough time? One of the biggest complaints that I get from my clients and friends is that they don't have enough time. Or, have you ever approached someone and said, hey, how are you doing? And they say, oh my God, my life is crazy busy, but it's a good busy. And I'm left wondering, well, what's a good busy? And so I look at my own experience and I say, well, a good busy would be if I'm hopping from task to task and I'm kind of enjoying my si myself and it's pretty fulfilling, so I'm having a good time. So that's why it's a good busy. But yet we rationalize it because it's still a very hectic pace for ourselves and we don't even realize that our body's in stress mode because we are moving so quickly. So. I just want to caution you about this and you know, get you to thinking about it. It's like, is that how you really want to live? What if instead, when someone asked you, how are you doing? And you said, you know what? I'm doing really, really well and I'm relaxed and I'm at ease about my life. How would that feel? <laughs> you know, I can, I'm, I'm going to do this myself. This is what I'm going to say. And I'm a little nervous about it because I think there's a part of me, well I know there is, that equates stress with success. And, and a lot of our society does. In other words, we believe that by accomplishing our long to-do list that we are more valuable and important. And so it's, it's kind of scary to say that I'm relaxed and at ease because immediately I have these visions of being a sloth. <laughs> And I don't want people to think I'm a sloth. So, you know, therefore I say, well, I'm, I'm busy, even a good busy. Because a lot of the more conscious people say, but it's a good busy. Because we don't want people to think we're running around stressed like a chicken with our head cut off. So, food for thought, food for thought, take what you like and leave the rest. But it's so easy to justify that we're busy, 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 busy. I just challenge you, stop using the word busy and maybe replace it with full full our activity is full and and try this new wording of you know I'm well and I'm feeling relaxed and at ease with my life and so what if you don't believe it yet it's about intention right it's like you know, look I want to create a different paradigm in my life not the typical stressed over scheduled response and to do that I need to start thinking about it differently and if I start by expressing it first that's a good start. It's a great start. And so I challenge you with that. Last thing, I have a workshop coming up this Wednesday, and that is going to be at 6 p.m. at the Soul Esteem Center in Maryland Heights. And what I'm going to cover in this workshop is it's called Get Your Joy Back. And what I'm going to cover is how can we get our needs met in a way that is healthy and functional so that we can avoid overwhelm. Now one of those needs is something I already mentioned which is the importance need. How can we get that met instead of being overly busy? That's just one of the, one of the four. So I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to introduce you to a technique that can help you quickly change your mindset so that you can be more free, happy, fulfilled, and productive. Think about that. If you could be more relaxed and productive, isn't that the best of both worlds? So to register, please go to Harmony, H-A-R-M-O-N-Y, Harbor, H-A-R-B-O-R, dot com, forward slash events. That's HarmonyHarbor.com, forward slash events, to register for this workshop coming up. And it's free this coming Wednesday, April 5th at 6 p.m. So until next time, I want to wish you a wonderful month of April. God bless.